Hey guys, Monkey from Board Gamer here with a joystick. This isn't me, this is a joystick. Uh, we're starting series today where we're looking at different joysticks, hotasses, both budget, super expensive ones, uh, and to try and find out which one's right for you. Mainly for Star Citizen, um, because I love Star Citizen, and you want to get a right joystick. I mean, and how much money do you have? Do you have hundreds and hundreds of pounds to decay on a joystick and buy thousands of pounds worth of ships, or thousands of dollars worth of ships? Or do you only have like $30? Um, or do you not even want to use a, a joystick, in which case we will have some other peripherals that we will be using, um, other mice, um, and uh, like MMO mice and stuff like that, game pads. We'll be going through anything to help you fly ships better, basically, in Star Citizen. And if you want to know about flight sims and, and that sort of stuff, we might go over them very briefly, Elite Dangerous, that sort of stuff, but this series is mainly going to cover joysticks for Star Citizen. And to start off with, this is my favourite budget joystick, by far, um, and I'll talk more about that in a second. This is the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. It is, when I got it out of the box, it's got a brilliantly weighted base. It's, it feels nice, it feels expensive at the base. Um, it, doesn't look particularly nice in my opinion um but i'm gonna i'm gonna spray paint it i'm gonna i've got loads of these stencils uh, i'll show you i'll show you that after i've spray painted it the throttle um is the worst thing on this it's this this little thing here it is tiny um and it's very very loose it's the only way i can describe it i'm gonna have to work out a way of putting something in there even a little bit of blue tack or something to give it a bit more resistance there's no resistance there i thought i might be able to tighten it with the um with an allen key but that just seems to spin and actually do nothing might put a washer in there or something that's the worst part of this it is wired and it's usb 2 um but okay this joystick is absolutely great I've tried this joystick with Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, XP, Vista. Uh, had no problems with it at all, any of them. I literally plugged it in, USB, immediately worked. Uh, yeah, really, really, really simple to set up joystick. Uh, and that's what you want. You want no frills. You can't be asked to sod around getting all these complicated controls set up for like some of the, the Warthog Hotasses or something like the X55. Loads of buttons, loads of things. Don't need them. Don't want them. It's got 12 programmable buttons. So that's the trigger there. This little button here, and these buttons down here, and these four buttons here. Um, and that's more than enough, in my opinion, you need. You'd hold it uh, like this, um, if you were going to hold it. You have all the access to all the buttons there, your left hand there, um, and the right of there. And the other great thing about it is that it works perfectly well left-handed. Um, so you can hold it like that. You don't have as access to these buttons as well. You'd have to reach over, which is annoying, but it's pretty good even for a left-handed person. You don't have great access to this button. Your index finger would hold over it if you were left-handed. Um, but, I mean, some of the ambidextrous and left-handed joysticks I've seen, um, in fact, only one I've seen is any good. Uh, and this one, this one works pretty well as an ambidex joystick. Uh, it's just a shame about those buttons on the side that um, if that, that was spinnable, then that this joystick would be great um, for a left-handed person. And I am going to build a two joystick setup with two of these joysticks now, um, just for that, because I think it's going to be great for mech games, from playing with Titanfall, two joysticks, boo boo boo, um, and great for Star Citizen, just to see what a two joystick setup's like, rather than uh, joystick and throttle. Uh, but it's got that hat trigger as well, which is really sensitive, doesn't feel cheap, which is good. The trigger doesn't feel that cheap, although it could have a little bit more resistance. A little bit less click would be good. Um, all of these buttons here, they feel they feel like durable buttons. Um, they all feel not cheap and plasticky, but actually heavy weighted kind of well-built buttons. There's a little rubber seal at the base of the joystick, which gives it a lot of good feeling. Um, it's the only way I can describe it. It makes it feel it's a cheap way of making it feel a lot look more like an expensive joystick basically um it gives it a nice nice resistance um and doesn't click on the base like click, 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 uh, which is always good and that weighting is just really nice i'm not sure about these bits i mean i think they're unnecessary to be honest but um they make it look a little bit better i mean it's painted up it will look a lot better it's got the twist which is essential in a joystick otherwise you have to have pedals um and you just you need to twist and the twist feels good. All of these buttons can be pressed and mashed simultaneously and all registered, which is absolutely great. 
there's, if I really mash them, uh, all of them are registered um, individually as I press them. It doesn't spaz out, it doesn't go crazy. The, the only thing I found is that this throttle just feels too loose for me. It just needs a bit of resistance and I'll, I'll fix that somehow, uh, but out of the box it's, it's a little annoying. Um, what else can I say about this? I mean, comfort wise, I can rest my hand on it. Now, the only problem with resting your hand on it is it does lean towards your hand. There's the center of weight I was hoping that when my hand was resting on it would lie in the center of the joystick, but it doesn't. It's slightly off center. Now, I'm going to have to put my own a little couple of weights here or something to, to stop that or possibly shave a little bit off this so my hand sits on it differently. Um, it could just be a problem with my weird hands, but who knows. Um, I really like this joystick. If I was going to give it a uh, a rating out of 10, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 for being a bloody cheap joystick. You can grab it for $30 if you're in the US uh, from Amazon um, or about 25 quid in the UK. And it's probably about 25 to, to 30 euros as well um, on Amazon again. And it does vary from time to time because people sell them at different rates because it's an online marketplace. But I really like this joystick from Logitech. It's really, really good. Uh, feels amazing in Star Citizen. It, it, yeah. If you're looking for an entry level joystick or even a medium range joystick, you won't go wrong with this. Uh, I'm also going to build a two joystick setup with this bad boy, and we'll have a look at more about that when the other one arrives. Um, but yeah, uh, they don't. I, I really, really like wired joysticks because it's something I feel about wireless stuff. It just. I'm of an old school where it feels slower to me, it feels like there's latency, um, and with wire, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with a wire. You have to charge up batteries. It's, it, yeah, it's a joystick. Thanks for watching, guys. Next time we'll be doing different joysticks. We'll drop off the, uh, we'll do the Warthog um, Hotas, uh, so we've got one of them. It's, uh, it's pretty heavy duty, very, very expensive, not perfect for Star Citizen, uh, whereas this, this is absolutely great for a, any ship you wanted to fly in relative mode. Uh, I just, yeah, really great joystick. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, bye. Bye.